fashion that is the Tyne Weir derby rises for the first time from the Stadium of Light. To the locals playing Manchester United and Arsenal is all very well, but this is the one game that really matters. However, locals on the pitch are a rarity. There were just three. Sunderland-born fullback Michael Gray's last Premiership goal was against Newcastle three years ago. Alan Shearer is expecting an even more hostile reception here than he got at Blackburn, while Newcastle goalkeeper Steve Harper could be excused for hoping for a draw. He lives in Easington, where the population is split down the middle between Mackhams and Magpies. Sunderland's team lacks the injured Steve Bold, but Niall Quinn is fit to resume after ankle trouble. Summerby and Makin return, as does a 4-4-2 formation, and Jody Craddock plugs the hole left by Bolt. Only two Newcastle players have appeared here before. Shearer and Dyer both did so for England. Didier Domi starts in place of Kevin Gallagher. Solano and Marcelino are still injured, so the Portuguese Elder continues. And Newcastle are backed in this stadium by 2,200 supporters. Tickets have been extremely hard to get hold of. A further 12,000 are watching these pictures, most of them packed into the Newcastle arena. Barton. Shearer was wandering back from what he thought would be an offside position. As it is, the ball will be allowed to run out for a goal kick. It's amazing to think that after 50 years' involvement in the professional game, this is Bobby Robson's first direct involvement in a time we're derby. McCann, making some of it. speed Ferguson oh well, there's a sit by Butler here's Shearer and then lunging at the ball he's diverted it away from Dyer. Shearer still threatening and so too is Kieran Dyer. was deflected onto the top of the net aerial threat of Ferguson that's apparent and that of Shearer but speed is also forward so is Dabizas Domi with the kick there's Ferguson forcing Sorensen to arch his back Domi once more this time it's Makin to come to terms with Newcastle and deflected it in Didier Domi had the shot but it was the deflection that completely wrong-footed Thomas Sorensen in the Sunderland goal once Domi's shot hit one of those players in front of Sorensen the goalkeeper was completely lost Used to scoring goals prolifically at one end of the field. It won't go down as an own goal, but it will go down as an unwanted assist. Craddock, Summerby, given away to Ferguson. Speed. That finds Kieran Dyer. It's a terrific ball, and it has, and it is, and it's Dyer. And now Ferguson, and he seems to get caught in the turf. It was a wonderful ball by speed to Dyer. Michael Gray was caught dithering. And just watch Ferguson's left leg. It went from beneath him and he lost his balance on the point of shooting. Elder, Domi, Shearer. Ferguson was returning from an offside position. Domi wasn't threatened by the flag. And he's gone on and won a corner from Makin. Dyer to take. Good punch by Sorensen. Lee with so much time to regather. Craddock. And all the way out to the corner taker, Kieran Dyer. Crudely shoved over by Makin. No attempt at a legitimate orthodox tackle. 
just used his arms. And having successfully defended the corner, now Sunderland must try and repel a kick from an even better position taken by Dyer and converted with a plumb by Elder. His first goal for Newcastle, his first in English football. Newcastle two up on their first ever visit to the Stadium of Light. His eighth game for the club. More than 30 caps for Portugal, and if not entirely unmarked, largely so. Make it. Well, that didn't take long. And where seconds ago there were sullen faces, now there are hints of happiness amongst the Sunderland brethren. The old partnership, the flick on by Quinn, and the finish through the legs of Stephen Harper by Kevin Phillips, who's come of age, his 21st of the season. Obviously Sunderland's version of total football. A huge gap for him. And it's hard to criticise the shot. It was on target. And it forced a good save from Harper. A move that deserved an equaliser. Headed away by Davizas. Back out to Gavin McCann. Well won. Schwarz. Still plenty forward. Ferguson got in his goalkeeper's way. And now the break could be on. Speed for Dyer. And Sorensen has come a long way out. Davizas. Speed. Ferguson. Quinn. It's a brave header by Davizas. And that by Elder. Butler, Phillips, and Quinn through the middle, McCann is forward as well, there's Quinn who's turned, and has drawn a good save from Harper, although Quinn, if he's being very honest with himself, may feel he might have got the shot beyond the reach of the goalkeeper, there was a flag on the far side, and it would not have counted, but professional pride dictates that Quinn would like to have converted. And has been spotted in offside. Wicket goes Sunderland's way. Eight minutes of normal time still to be played. Quinn, Butler and Craddock all forward. Kilbab. come from the stadium of light literally shakes with noise I'm not sure that on such a volatile occasion the best thing to do is to go and celebrate in the corner of the ground that doesn't show a great deal of common sense but even so Kevin Phillips with the sort of goal that we've been accustomed to seeing all season. In by Kilban, no flag. And Phillips with his second of the game and his third goal against the old enemy this season. Kilban played it in and Phillips timed his run to perfection. The linesman said so. The whistle to call time on an excellent... Tyne Weir Derby. Kevin Phillips popping up seven minutes from the end with his second goal to ensure parity at 2 2. Elder, set up by Kieran Dyer's free kick, seemed likely to have provided Newcastle with an away victory, but Phillips made sure that was not the case. So, for the 11th time in the last 14 League and Cup meetings at Sunderland.